Hey everybody, it's Connie with CC Collections. I'm jumping in here today to do a haul from three different auctions that I've done in the past mm, a little over a week. Um, first, um, I got in my um, haul from um, Frugal Gal on some bro on her brooch sale she had last week. Um, first off, I had at a previous sale. Um, she's got it all taken down. Had bought from her, but she was just holding it till I had some more stuff to go with it. This L brooch that I'm going to send to my friend Lynn B along with the bag full of stuff that I've got put back for her. And some stuff that she's purchased for me that's put in that bag. But I thought it was cute. I thought she would like it. So I had had that put back. And then at the auction, I bought this Silver Tone Crown Trafari that fits perfectly in with my vintage style brooches. Most of them are more older than this, but I love this. This is beautiful. It is a Crown Trafari, so yeah, I'll be holding on to that for a while. Isn't that pretty, y'all? And then, um, uh, Cherry Berry won this brooch and had her send it to me, which will also fit in with my items. And they're beautiful. They've got the um, AB coated rhinestones in there, crystals, whatever. And it's just a cute little poodle. I like it. Thank you, Cherry. So that's what I got from Frugal. And then I bought a couple of things from uh, April at Bougie Bear Vintage. Um, it was just one lot of these bracelets from Mexico. Silver Tone. I especially love this one, but this one's pretty cool too. And I think me and April are trading money because I buy from her, then she turns around and buys from me, and then... But, you know, that's the fun of it, right? And then I got my haul in from Barbie Crafts um, auction this week. So I'm really surprised, because this is Friday and the auction was Tuesday night, which means she didn't get it mailed till Wednesday. And so... But there's this cute little brooch and that's like a window screen in there can y'all see that it's like the screen in your windows but it's cute as it can be and it is vintage um i think it looks vintage that's to go in with my old timey looking ones then I got this memory wire bracelet with the turquoise on it. I'm not 100% sure it's real turquoise, but it's not looking like halite neither. And it's, so I'll have to research that a little bit more and it'll have to be redone. But I've got to get some memory wire because I've got a couple of bracelets that need to be redone. I might not. One of them is pretty long, so it may end up getting made into two smaller ones. And then I got this bracelet and this is one that unless something happens that I need the money real bad, this will be put up for my granddaughter for her jewelry collection that I want to put together for. It says all things are possible 
to those who believe and then it repeats it and then it has this little angel hanging on the end of it and it's not 925 but it's cute and not everything has to be precious metal to be wearable or cute or vintage and by the time she's old enough to wear it it will probably be more vintage than I think it would is or would be okay then the rest of this I don't know these I bought these to go with another pair that I've got that are all metal they don't have any stones in them but these are a pair of clip-on earrings by Lisner they are beautiful and I think I can lot them up with the pair I've got. And uh, list them and make a little money. The one pair I've got now came out of a bag of clip-ons. And I've already made my money back from that bag. It was only $5 anyway. So this ring is marked 925 and it has a synthetic or a man-made ruby emerald um topaz and sapphire and you can really see the blue in that sapphire where it's so dark in person it's really hard to see it but you can see it on the camera at least I can say that. Okay. And then I bought this ring. And that one with those stones in it were, um, it fits me, so I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to keep it. This one also fits me, so I'm not sure. Y'all don't pay attention to my nails. I've been sick for... This is the third day, and today I think I'm actually running a fever. But, you know, when you get stuff in the mail and it's jewelry... And then I got these three rings. They're in rose gold. color I uh, know I'll be get, selling the one on my pinky the other ones fit my ring fingers and this one fits my ring finger although it don't look too great together does it Let's see how it looks that way no but I got two hands so there's that and then she sent me a thank you gift uh, first there's this long chain with these uh, loops hanging on the end of it it's got a little wear especially on the silver tone part uh, ones, the ones got silver tone. I'm going to clean them up a little bit. And I don't mind, everybody should know by now, I don't mind a little wear. It just gives character. Anybody that's going to pick it up and inspect it is a little bit too close to my chest and will be asked to kindly remove themselves. And then there's this, which it's all the stones seem to be there, but it also twists on itself. So I may try to restring this into 
something that doesn't do that. Because when you get twist so far, then it'll kink on itself. But I like that. It's usable. And then there's this ring. I'm probably going to clean that up and see if I can sell it. Because it's just a little bit tight on my pinky. And it looks like those stones might have a bit of an AB coating on them. Not strongly, but just a bit. There's another little ring here. And if any of y'all want it, just let me know. Uh, you know, a few dollars plus shipping. But it needs a little, li one little stone in it. And I have got a stockpile of jewelry to harvest out of and a couple to put some in and I'm just not doing it. I just haven't not motivated to learn how and to actually get in to do it. So y'all just let me know if y'all like that. I think it's cute. It just got that one tiny little stone missing. And then she sent me a necklace that's come unthreaded, which is not a problem since I make jewelry. So, there you have that. Um, I do have, I'm about ready to do my earring video on my What's in My Jewelry Box series. And then I'll just have the necklace one to do after that. I'm also working on another series that I'm hoping to have out within the next month. And if there's anything in particular y'all want to see, oh, oh, I'll be right back. Just hold on just a moment. I think it was Cherry Berry that uh, had um, challenged um, Cindy Love in it, Cindy Love's Jewelry, um, to count how many brooches she had. And then when she came on and was telling about how many brooches she had, she challenged the rest of us to count our favorite items. Well, I have a little problem with my favorite items because I've got a lot of everything and what I consider a lot. And I like my rings. I like my brooches. I like my earrings. I love my bracelets and my pendant. I have extra pendants and then necklaces. And I never did get all my necklaces counted. But we'll just say that's not one of my favorites this time. My rings, now this don't count what's come in today. My rings, I had 59. Oh, it also doesn't count what's in my, in my, uh, to sell drawer. Um, uh, brooches, I have 42. Uh, earrings, I have 61 pair. And that don't count the ones I've made that I've got, or anything that I've got to sell. None of this does. And bracelets, well, let's just say after today, I have bypassed 100. I had 96 the other day, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, right at 100. I'm right at 100 now with today's haul. So, I have a bracelet problem, y'all. That's okay. I like bracelets. I've worn them like a dozen of them at a time before. Especially charm bracelets. You can put a whole bunch on. Mix and match and the whole thing. So, that's all I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Y'all let me know 
if there's any particular thing you want me to do a video on and I'll see what I can do. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.